welcome back to Raptor Vision. I am your new news anchor, and welcome back to this holiday episode. Woo! Woo! Holidays! I'm Ari Harris. And I'm Indigo Miller. And get ready for 20 minutes of Christmas cheer. Speech and debate takes third at Great Falls Meet this week. First place for original oratory is Allison Apostle. First place in impromptu is Leah Thompson. First place in novice policy debate is Mackenzie Looper and Sam Fay. And first place in varsity LD debate is Ravenor Davion. Good job, guys. Finals week is coming up, Raptors, January 18th through the 20th. Make sure to study hard. You guys got this. All right, get ready for this week's sports news from Evan, Gannon, and Zach. Hey, Raptors. Welcome back to sports news. Welcome back. I'm Evan Cherry. I'm Gannon. I'm Zach Bocott. Soccer All-State selections came in. We had two for the boys' team and three for the girls' team. On the boys' team, Oliver Betcher and Dylan Nelson were selected at All-State. On the girls' team, Natalie Sipos and Indigo Andreessen were both named All-State, as well as Olivia Collins, who won Player of the Year for the second year in a row. Congratulations to everyone nominated. Our Gallatin boys' swim team got fourth in the meet in Billings, and the girls came home with fifth. Good job, swimmers. Our boys' basketball team started off the season with a big win against Butte, winning 67-59. to Good job, boys. Our girls' basketball team came out with another big win, 68-41 over Butte. Good job, girls. Our wrestling team had a meet in Butte over the weekend. Good job to all of our wrestlers who competed. Overall, it was a great weekend for the Raptors winter sports teams, coming out with a lot of big wins, a lot of big improvements over last year. Oh. Hey, Ari, what do you want for Christmas? I really want a new laptop. Makes sense. Yeah, what do you want for Christmas? I want my mommy and daddy to stop fighting. <laughs> okay, well, um, we'll see what you guys want for Christmas. Who are we here with? Izzy. And uh, what do you want for Christmas? Just a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Who are we here with? Rachel Corn. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas, Rachel Corn? Money and shoes. Who am I here with today? All right, what do you want for Christmas? A big semi-truck. Same. Who are we here with? Gavin Klein. And uh, what do you want for Christmas? Give me Livy Dune. Who am I with here? Mrs. Gustafson. What does Mrs. Gus want for Christmas? A tropical vacation. All right. All right, who are we here with? Miss Evan Hughes. And uh, what do you want for Christmas? I want um, like one of those little butter holders that sits on your countertop because I've never had one and I want one. Nice. Who am I here with? Kate and Chocolate. Uh, it's Smith. Uh, what do you guys want for Christmas? A new pair of skis. Yeah, probably a new pair of skis too. All right. Hey, Indigo. Hey, what? Do you like being interviewed? No. Neither do I. But we you guys, guys do. My name is Riley Munson, and today we're going to find out what GHS's New Year's resolutions are. Name and occupation? Mrs. Ringer, family and consumer sciences teacher. You said the questions weren't going to be <laughs> And what's your New Year's resolution, Ms. Ringer? My New Year's resolution is to not work so much. Name and grade? Aiden Lyle, senior. <laughs> what's your New Year's resolution, Aiden? Uh, this new year, I'd like to let Riley get a little bit better of a score than me on one of our calc tests, just for once. Uh -huh. So let him try it, get, so, get a little glory and fame. Hasn't happened for him yet, so. Thanks, Aiden. Name and grade? Lexi, 12. Jack, 12. And what are your guys' New Year's resolutions? To read more. To paint more. Name and occupation? Teacher. <laughs> Name? Mr. Nichols. <laughs> What's your New Year's resolution, Mr. Nichols? To have a better work-life balance. Name and grade? Uh, Sawyer Nelson, 10th uh, grade. And what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, ugly sweater right here. Right here. Name and grade? Martina Widler, 12th grade. And what's your New Year's resolution, Martina? To be a nicer person. Perfect. Amen. Name and grade? My name's Jamie, and I'm a junior. And what's your New Year's resolution, Jamie? I'm going to get more sleep this year. Name and occupation? Teacher. <laughs> Name? Mr. Kuzak. 
And what's your New Year's resolution, Mr. Kuzak? I'm going to try to stop smiling. I just smile way too much, and it's just becoming a problem. It's hurting my cheeks, and I'm going to try to stop smiling. <laughs> That's perfect. Good. Got you to smile. That's a well, good. All right, get ready for some trivia. Woo, trivia. What do you guys know? <laughs> What's your name? Teague. Aubrey. Louis Musial. What's your name? Jackson Holmberg. Bailey. Haley. Snowflakes usually have how many sides? Ten. Six. Seven. Sixteen. Eight. Six. <laughs> okay. Which winter celebration is celebrated in almost every country around the world? Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> Christmas? Hanukkah. Christmas. Christmas. New Year's. Um, what color are snowflakes? White, maybe. Translucent. White. Clear. White. <laughs> White. What is the most popular winter sport worldwide? Skiing. Basketball. I don't know. Winter sport. Oh, skiing. Skiing. <laughs> Hockey. <laughs> Hockey? <laughs> skiing. What is the shortest day of the year called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Christmas. Winter solstice. Winter solstice. Um, yeah. Winter solstice, right? Same. <laughs> what are the official months of winter? And there are three. February, December, and January. Yeah. Hmm, December through March. Autumn, winter, <laughs> and fall. <laughs> okay, December, January, February. December, January, February. Same. <laughs> But stay tuned because we got some more Christmas stuff coming at ya. Ding dong, it is fitting they are. Marcus Clapper, senior. Kaya Elgin, senior. Miles Campbell, senior. Aaron Bergman, junior. Aiden Cardwell, junior. Artie Usmanov, sophomore. <laughs> Alex Clapper, sophomore. Ian Dyke, sophomore. Kamaya Leach, freshman. Victoria Bender, freshman. Kayla Lobb, freshman. Kay Braun, freshman. Alina Magadito, freshman. Ding dong, they just think they are. Never little wanna be gangster trying to play hard. Ding dong, they just think they are. Never little wanna be gangster trying to play hard. <gasps> What's up Raptors, it's Chris. I'm here with Elise and we're doing the drawing for the Fall Sports Passport. All right, let's see who's the winner. And the winner is Kaysen Ripley. Congrats, make sure to go pick up your prize in the office. Sweet. All right Raptors, now that we have a fall winner, what's next? Thanks Talon. So now if you would like to participate in the winter Raptor Activities Passport, um, you can pick that up in the attendance office. You need to attend a band, orchestra, or choir concert, girls and boys basketball game, a wrestling meet, and 
a swimming meet gets you bonus chances to win at the end of the winter sports season. So stop by the attendance office to pick up your winter Raptor Spirit passport. Oh man, there's no good anime on Netflix. Wow, there's a club about anime? Thursdays at lunch in room B231. Remember Raptors, Anime Club is a very awesome club to watch some anime Thursdays at lunch. Have a great day, Raptors. Gallatin. I'm here to talk about a brand new club, Film Literature Club. So we'll, what we'll be doing in Film Literature Club is basically watching movies and then talking about them. And that's already something that we kind of like to do, so could be fun to do it as a club. We'll meet Tuesdays at lunch. Hope to see you guys there. Hey Raptors, welcome back to Raptor Weather Report. Today I have a special guest, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. What a jolly Christmas season this is going to be, Maddie. It is. I can't wait to get back out into the snow. It's going to be yeah. so fun. You look built for it. We'd love you down at the North Pole. You'd fit right in with the other elves. Really? Yes, really. Well, Raptors, I, what do you think that we should get to? I think we should get back to the Raptor Weather Report. Thank you, Santa, for being here. Ho, ho, ho. everybody um, I want you guys to look up here on the content folder we had an episode yesterday and we weren't able to get the footage all the footage in there for our clients um, we let down a client because this wasn't in here um, who didn't do their part I really don't know yeah that was totally me I just I just didn't want to do it what have I done in Raptor Vision I've jumped into snow Ran around the school in a dinosaur costume. Sports news, intros, outros. Did I say sports news? So, y'all in Raptor Vision, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your favorite thing about Raptor Vision? Uh, I would say messing with Oscar's stuff. Messing with Oscar's stuff. Probably carrying the team. I, make, I basically make every video Bro. for us. Bro. That's, that's a lie. Um, we, I say we all come up with ideas. Oh, Except for Quinn. Quinn doesn't do you, anything. Bro. Quinn you doesn't have do done anything. nothing this week. I don't think Austin comes up with anything. I don't think Quinn, yes. Quinn really? doesn't do anything. Who came up with the You are useless in this class. <laughs> You're useless. You are useless. You bro. sit there, aren't you? You are useless. Come back. So, what is your favorite thing about Raptor Vision? Honestly, it's kind of fun to just talk to people. I mean, filming is nice, but talking is better. Sorry. Yeah, for real. Um, Get out of my video. Who do you think is the um, best person in Raptor Vision? Me. Hey, can you send me the link of the uh, request form? Hello? Sorry, what? Uh, can you send me the link? Uh, yeah. I, okay. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, I just hate that we have to participate in the Christmas party. Why not? It's just a party. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm nervous for the holiday party. Last year, Blake and Jack both made a holiday special and only one of their videos could be aired. Did y'all submit the holiday special? Yes. Well, I already did it. I just did it. Well, I did it yesterday. 
Well, I'm doing it right now. We said mine was going in. Well, mine's better, so... Oh, please. No, it's not. Slightly miscalculated that one just a little bit. Is really going to trim? A trim? Sissy, this is fake. What are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? This is my Santa costume. What are you wearing? I'm Santa this year. We went over this already. When? Last year. You said you were going to be Santa, and I could have the suit next year. So I what? don't ever remember making that agreement. Yeah, I totally made that agreement. I, I didn't think he was going to remember. I mean, I'm Santa. I'm always Santa. Yeah, you do. Hey! If you don't take that stupid beard off, I'm gonna take it off for you. How about you do it then? Hey, 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 no, 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 no. How about we decide on a vote? A vote with the whole class. Okay. That's, Fine. That's fair. Fine. I think Blake should be Santa. Jack. Who's Blake? Well, you know, Blake may be a friend of mine, but as much as I like him, just feels unright, so I'm gonna have to say Jack. Oh, Jack. Nobody likes Blake. Nobody. You see, for me, it's different. Blake, I really, really don't want you to win. Give me Jack. I don't really care who's Santa, but it's Jack. It's gotta be Jack. Jack, obviously. What do you think, AB? Jack. Jack. I think Blake should be Santa. And Santa for the 2022 Christmas season is Jack. Woo! I'm Santa this year, Blake. Woo. You know what? I just want to say I am extremely sorry for what I did and throwing a coffee cup at Jack and getting coffee all over the walls and yeah. What's up Raptors, it's Evan Sherry. I'm here with our local pond hockey team to talk to you about the basics of pond hockey safety. One of the first rules of pond hockey is always keep the puck on the ice. Pontaki is always remember that you're not wearing pads, so there's no checking allowed. Oh, I'm hurt. No. <laughs> Another important rule of Pontaki is that if there's ever a breakaway, make sure you throw your sticks as defense. <laughs> The most important rule in pond hockey is after every goal, you have to hit a celly. If you don't hit that celly, the goal is invalid. <laughs> pass, pass, pass. <laughs> Another important safety tip is always make sure the ice is thick enough to skate on. Good. Yeah, we're fine. Oh! Huh. Come on, pal, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Pond Hockey Safety Tips. We'll see you next time. So, uh, where were you on the night of December 24th, 2021? Uh... Uh, I was at home sleeping. Ah, I'll snuggle up on Christmas Eve, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, um, did you leave cookies out for Santa that night? Yeah, I did. Yeah? Um, that's weird, because I heard differently from the big man himself. So that means, uh, one of you guys is lying. And do you really think Santa would lie? My name's Detective X, Miss, X Miss. Uh, Christmas. It's family name. Um, I'm a detective and I specialize in Christmas related crimes. The story doesn't add up, kid.
The big man would not lie. I know you ate those snickerdoodles! He lied. Like, what do you mean? I, I, I set the cookies down, I gave him the milk, and I left. I'm gonna ask bed. you this one time and one time only. Did you or did you not eat those cookies? No! Dang it, this guy's good! I, I work with the cases that, uh... Oh, I'm ready to talk about it. The uh, the year the naughty list got leaked. You know, that was almost of a worse of a Christmas in the Vietnam. Yeah, uh, people were coming after me, my career, death, I was getting death threats. Oh, all in all, it was a pretty, pretty bad Christmas. Bill Clinton? Naughty. What about uh, Mariah Carey this year? Uh, nice, sir. Okay. Uh, how about my mother? Naughty. Naughty, okay. Say, uh, Pinky, can you go get me a plate of warm cookies? Sorry, Mr. Jelly Belly. You need to cut down on those carbs. Mrs. Claus orders. I'm not cleared to go near the bakery. Oh, okay, Pinky. How about you go uh, take a hot chocolate break? Yes, sir. <laughs> Stupid elf. Think she's gonna be my head elf after this year? Oh, my old friend! It's good, big dog. What you got me on the naughty list this year? What's up with that? Oh, that must have been some sort of mistake. I'll get that fixed for you. This is exactly why I didn't leave you cookies last year. You oh. know I wanted that bicycle. Uh, you these... know I wanted it. I'll be seeing you again. again. Don't you worry. Sorry, sir. The cocoa burnt my teeth. Pinky, I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. Well, maybe taking everyone off of the naughty list will help. Pinky, that's not important right now. That's highly immoral. I can't do that. I am Santa Claus. You've made a lot of people angry, Mr. Claus. But even the billionaires are willing to pay top dollar to get onto the nice list. We could get the IRS off your back. <gasps> we could? I'm officially announcing this year for Christmas, everyone on the naughty list is officially pardoned. Uh, except for everyone who plays Christmas music before December, there will officially be no questions at this time. No questions. No questions. But, uh, I think I handled it pretty well. Oh, yeah. That was a very infamous cold case. Just saying. Give me one second. Hello? Okay, yeah. I'll be right there. Give me one second, Mr. Klaus. Thank you guys for coming out here today. Uh, I got the big man in there. Uh, I think you got some really big here. And uh, I'm gonna ask them some few more questions. We're gonna crack this thing wide open. Thank you so much. Sorry to keep you waiting, Santa. Now, if you have any cookies, eggnog. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Claus wants me to cut back on those sugary sweets. My belly has been getting uh -huh. too plump and round recently. Yeah, okay. So what can you tell me about the uh, string of elf disappearances at the North Pole, North Pole specifically in your toy factory? Oh, um, elf disappearances? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, I have, I'm so sorry. I have gingerbreads in the whoa. oven. I need to be getting whoa, going. Whoa, Santa, Santa. Santa, Santa, oh, Santa. Santa, no. Santa, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, why don't you get that camera out of my face? Do you want to this dog for the next 20 years? I know where you live. Hey, what are, you, what are you guys doing here? Oh my god. Thank you. No questions, no questions, no questions, no questions, no questions. No questions. Hey, get that camera out of my face. Xmas, I told you to stay out of Santa's affairs. Listen, listen here, Pinky. That's Detective Xmas to you. Listen. Even if it was true, these baseless accusations, they're in Santa's territory, not yours, you understand me? You know me? what, Pinky? I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Take your cookie. You think I'm dumb? Yeah. These cookies, there might be a microphone in these. There, there could be a camera in these. All right, man, well, thank you for your time.
Yeah, whatever, chump. Santa is up to something, and I know it. I'm gonna catch him. I just bugged his main elf to see what they talk about. <laughs> I'm listening he, to the conversation. And you get a package for me. The package. package. They're talking about a package. But Mr. Claus. Write that down. What about Mrs. Claus? Mrs. Claus won't find out. This was right, safe between Mrs. us. Claus. With everything going on recently, I need this. Okay. Can I take the sleigh? No, Pinky. Take the Prius. Okay. Undercover. All right. Draw the move, draw the move. Give me the location. Track him. We're on to something big. Um, uh, hello, uh, what can I get for you today? Uh, can I get two extra jolly happy meals? <coughs> uh, extra what? Extra, extra jolly, sir. <sighs> sir, I work minimum Nothing! We got nothing from listening into their conversation. <sighs> they went to Burger King? They went to McDonald's? Can someone pick up that phone? There was only one option left, and I did not want it to have to come to this. Blackmail. Hello, Santa. I think you know who this is. Uh, before you do that, don't try chasing the call. I'm untraceable. I just want to tell you, I know about your little trips, your little extra jolly happy meals. If you don't want me to tell Mrs. Claus about these, I want a confession by midnight. Alright, we have a deal. I love you too, bye. <gasps> it's showtime. Are we rolling, Pinky? Yes, sir. I've called you all here today to address the rumors of the disappearing elves in my toy shop. Uh, you know, I have not been a perfect Santa Claus over the span of my career. Whew. Here we go. Hey, it was the South Pole elves. The South Pole elves. The South Pole elves, elves are in Mr. on this. Who's we are Pole? launching Who's a big Why investigation on the South Pole Who's elves. South Pole Christmas will continue as scheduled. Ho ho ho! Jerry, man, where are you at? Come to the office, we're having a pizza party! Why, what do you mean, why, dude? We caught Santa, he confessed! No, I haven't watched it yet, why? Wait, he said what? South Pole Elves? That's a cover story, Jerry! Oh. No! No, everyone knows that South Pole Elves aren't real! You can't take me off the case. I can go back tomorrow and start investigating. It's the holidays, Jerry. Please. No, please don't take... Jerry. Jerry. At least I still have you. And I get to go home for the holidays. This is going to be a nice Christmas vacation.